Midwest morning, everyone. This is Nicole, your mobile bloggers for TOCtown.com. Well, it's finally springtime as of next week. And today, for Monday, I wanted to share with you not only a few milestones, but also some media ways that you can start writing pen to paper, using spiral notebooks, as well as ring binders. And I have my mixed media Canton, which is a 7x10. And pretty much for me, I stopped being intimidated by the white page when I started using this type of paper. Because one, it allowed me to use my big handwriting. I had no limits, you know, no uh, boundaries to what I could write, how I could write. As you can see, I can flip the page vertical or horizontal and just create whatever thoughts that I had and put them down on paper as far as being an artisan and start mapping out administratively what I wanted to create my channel to be like. As you can see here, I even used some of my previous stationery on another project and used a punch to show the butterfly coming out of a door as if like what was before is now becoming something new. And I try to use a lot of not just color coding, but ephemera as well as sticky notes, just to express my thoughts, not really having any limits as to what I can say and how I'm bored, if you you know, want to put it that way. And pretty much it helped free up a lot of my thoughts in regards to like, what can I write down on paper? You know, a lot of times, a lot of artists say, that the white paper really scares them but i'm just here to say i'm here to assist with a lot of tips tools and artisan admin techniques and how to structure what to write on a blank page and right after that i pretty much started looking for a lot of the planners that i had not used you know inkwell press planner is one of the top quality planners out there in the community and since I had all of these, you know, colorful pages still available, I decided to go ahead and upcycle it for the spring and summer season. So look for a lot of the things that I want to share in regards to the special projects that I'm going to be doing for my live and local station. And pretty much I'm going to be updating it all the way through to the fall. I have that many planner spaces and pages available. So with that, even though it has lines as well as you know, certain colors, I can attribute it, them to a lot of the fun, festive things that I want to start doing even this spring and summer season. So this is the disbound. You know, the covers are from, oh my gosh, me and my me and my big ideas and pretty much I picked a lot of the stuff up from Amazon of course if you're interested I'll leave a link down below but this little EDC was my pickup from Staples almost three four years ago and I'm still using it now I just filled it with a planner company from so much crafting Danielle Woods is the owner of that Etsy shop and I just had to fill in with a lot of the quality stationery uh, things that she offers. It's a daily with a grid on the back side. And I have a customized pin from another, you know, small shop, a mompreneur. And pretty much, like I said, either you can use a pocket size, personal size, EDC ring bound. It gives you a lot of you know, room to move as well as keeping it structured and organized. Or you can go in and out of a disbound planner. You know, they're a notebook. That way for the next 30, 60, or even if you stretch it out to 90 days, you have all of your information all in one place in space. 
it's color coded so you remember which notebook you put it in but after that is said and done you're ready to move on to the next step And if you have any question as to what that should be, don't hesitate to leave a question in the comment section down below. I'm Nicole, your mobile bloggers for TOCtown.com. Until we meet online or face-to-face, -face, be blessed.